Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we've got a very special item actually. This is a brand new sealed in the bag Mon Sparrows Monstrum XXL. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest kit that they do, and it sells for a, um, I think, pretty reasonable 139 Canadian dollars, somewhere about that. Go check out the website. Um, that equals about £81, I think. Um, and when you see inside, I think you'll agree that that is a real bargain. It really is. Okay, so um, I've never actually seen inside this. There's a little tear there, but um, we need more than that to get this out. Okay, put that over there. So, the first thing is, is it comes with an excellent Sparrow sticker and also one of their excellent cases. Now, um, I'm, you know, I don't make it a secret that I really, really like Sparrow's equipment and I really like their cases. In fact, I use a number of their cases to store my picks. And what's good about them is they're made of a tough nylon-like material. I like this particular, um, do you want to call it camouflage pattern? I don't know. I like this one that they use in the Monstrum. And if you look carefully, you can see double stitching where the seams are. I mean, it's it's quite rugged. Let's unzip it. Let's see what we get inside. The first time I've looked inside, so you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. Um, and I'm going to cut away in a minute, and I'm going to get all the picks out and put them in order. Um, and Lord knows I wouldn't be able to tell you the names of absolutely all of them. Um, but I think we'll give it a go. Wow. That's a, a whole lot of picks and tension tools. Oh, wow, this is a a uh, a pretty hefty kit for sure. Okay, right, I'm going to cut away and let's have a look at the uh, picks and rakes first. Okay, so all of the uh, the sort of hooks are in front of us and yeah, I might get this wrong but I'm going to try and name them all. Um, I, the first thing to say is that these are all with their sort of thermoplastic handles. I find them very comfortable. Um, all in 25 thousandths uh, very high quality Sparrows stainless steel and if you look the finish on the Monstrum set is beautifully tumbled. I mean, it's very round. Just, uh, just grab a couple at random and have a look at them. There's a couple of marks on this, but the edges are very smooth. Um, this is clearly a kit which has just been finished a little higher spec. Very, very smooth edges you can see there. Very, very nice. Um, I think, apart from maybe just trimming this uh, this handle down on some of these hooks with a razor blade, I'm just taking them down a little bit. They're ready to go out of the pack, I would say. So, um, and also I'd say you get such a range here. I just I can't think of anything particularly missing. I mean, we all have our favourites. There's all uh, bits and bobs which you would say, oh, well, I wouldn't mind one of those, or all oh, one of those is a good idea. But really, I mean, I use like the Sparrow's short hook. Um, <laughs> you know about 60% of the time, so uh, frankly, the rest is, is just for those other applications where you just need something else. So I think it's the, um, the full dent, the half glide, the high HD, which is similar, similar but not quite the same as a gem. We have a low HD, um, which I think is like a HD might stand for half diamond. You can sort of see the that um, that angle there. Uh, I think this one's called the Matador, which is similar to uh, well, it's like a a curvier high HD really, so a higher reach, um, not almost like a DeForest diamond in in a, in a way. Uh, then we have the and I get these mixed up all the time. I believe this is the Tron. Uh, very good, like a short hook with a slight um, uh, recess at the tip. So it's a bit like a short hook, Euro hook, slightly wider ball end pick. Very good, actually, becoming very popular, this one. 
Um, then I think we've got the Attila. Uh, another popular sort of medium hook. Quite got a bit of sweep on it. Then we've got the Lunatic. I've never seen one of these before. And it's like the, the most offset um, uh, half diamond, deforest half diamond I've ever seen. It really is extreme. But if you've got the room in the keyway, I can imagine that's quite effective. Um, then got the Full Glide, which is just uh, slightly more curved than the Half Glide we saw earlier. Then we've got Steep Hook and a Reach. Um, these basically are just deep hooks. Nothing wrong with that at all. And I think there might be a small, just small cutout on the reach there, just to allow you to get um, good placement on a pin. Then we got uh, a small diamond and an offset hybrid, which is a bit like a forest diamond, I think. A very shallow one. And last but definitely not least, because these are really, really good picks, the um, short hook and the euro hook. Very, very good. I mean, seriously, uh, I can't think of anything else that, that is really missing here. You're going to find a, a place for all of these in your kit for sure. Right. In terms of all your rakes, um, I think I've got pretty much all the bases covered. So, really, I, I, as far as rakes are concerned, these these are the uh, at least the four which I would recommend sort of everybody gets. So you've got a Bogota, a Worm Rake, which is similar to the Bogota in frequency if I line them up, um, but it's a shallower um, ripple, so you can get it into tighter keyways. A Snake Rake, one of my favourites. Um, I have to say the Sparrow Snake Rake isn't my absolute favourite snake. Um, I think some other manufacturers do make slightly better ones, um, but this isn't a bad one and um, a city rake which is excellent and you can see how um, well tumbled this is there's a tiny tiny amount of sort of uh, roughness in the in the valleys there but it's definitely been tumbled and polished up so i mean it's ready to go i wouldn't do any more work to it that's for sure uh you also have a sort of a, a double peak bogota uh sparrows do a reflection set where you have one of these um, which is offset slightly as well um but realistically this is going to get you into a lot of keyways and look an octorake um very good on wide keyways wide open keyways i find that honestly though um i think you're better off just using the worm i mean it, it's some people love the octorake i'm not a big fan um but i love the sparrow's worm um but they are different frequencies so they will get you in different locks so just bear that in mind although the thickness of this means you're limited a tiny bit there um, so that's, all, uh, I mean, an amazing selection of picks for sure. I mean, just, just, just look at how many of these you get. And uh, because they're 25 thousandths, um, and they're made with such high grade steel, um, they're going to last you unless you're ridiculously rough with them. Right. Enough about the picks. Let's have a look at the tension tools. I'll be back in a second. And here we are. Um, you must've been impressed with the 21 picks that you get. And really, I am impressed. Uh, but you get 22 tension tools and all sorts of varieties. Um, frankly, I just can't see again what more you could want with the tension tools. I mean, there's always going to be a lock where you need a tension tool which you, you just don't have in your kit. But Lord knows, you know, you're going to get into nearly every lock you can find. Or you at least tension them uh, with what you've got in here. I mean, we've got some very, very long ones. Um, a useful actually uh so guess in the lock if you, you can put the whole finger up on these um they're they're epically long um i don't know i never need one that long myself um but you know i do appreciate a longer tension tool for sure the um they come in two varieties three thicknesses as you can see, as you can see they're um uh, thin medium and thick in terms of width the ones with the twist in um so these are the same as the ones without just that when you've got it in a lock, this won't flex very much when you put pressure on it, while the one with a twist will. So if, you, if you're if uh, you wanting to be a bit lighter with your tension, sometimes the ones with a little twist in help you to dial in your, um, your tension. Um, personally, I prefer them without a twist, but I know people who do like a twisted tension tool. You've got the choice 
for sure there. Then you've got um, sort of similar, we've got some uh, same thick, uh, sort of thickness gradients again, as you can see there. You've got the twisted and the non-twisted L wrenches. Then you've got some Z wrenches. And again, would you believe twisted and non-twisted? So this is a non-twisted in the three thicknesses. If you wanted to, you could even uh, take this end and file them down to, um, I don't know, th uh, three or four millimeters at the end, and then use that as a top of the keyway tool. Just like, these ones, but I'll show you the other twisted top of the keyway tension tools as well. See, these are a bit longer, um, but again, they've got a twisted uh, center to um, just help with that tensioning, if you like that uh, softer, more flexible tension. Uh, and then you get all the uh, top of the keyway tension tools here, all the pry bars. Um, I'll get them out. And, um, you know, these are really 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 great as well um just really good tools and nothing really much more to say about them there's a, a couple of thicknesses there i believe that they go up to 40 thousandths and um of an inch and this is great isn't it i mean if you wanted to expand this kit i mean you really really have to know what you're doing with your locks but you could get a few of the 15 thousandths and 20 thousandths picks um and you could probably get the heavy bars as well, um, sort of a thicker, I think it's 50 thousandths of pry bars that Sparrows offer as well. But um, Lord knows if you get, you know, 21 picks and 22 tension tools, as well as this awesome uh, case, which to carry them all in, um, I think you're doing all right for yourself and this will keep you busy for a long time for 80 pounds. I can't think of much out there which offers the same quality and variety for that money. I mean, there are some good kits out there. The Saddle C2010 is a good budget kit, but it's not quite the same strength as stainless steel and doesn't come with as many tension tools or indeed a good a case. Um, yeah, I, I think this Monstrum kit, it's a, it's, it's a really, really, really nice thing to own. Um, and yeah, I'd recommend it. I really would. I think it's a great kit. Uh, not much I can see that you you couldn't use either. Not much filler. All right. I hope you found that interesting. I've really enjoyed looking at that Monstrum kit. Um, and I will see you next time.